characters polished after the similitude of a palace. September 21. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. Psalms 144, 12. If the youth rightly appreciate this important matter of character building, they will see the necessity of doing their work so that it will stand the test of investigation before God. The humblest and weakest, by persevering effort in resisting temptation and seeking wisdom from above, may reach heights that now seem impossible. These attainments cannot come without a determined purpose to be faithful in the fulfillment of little duties. It requires constant watchfulness that crooked traits shall not be left to strengthen. The young may have moral power, for Jesus came into the world that he might be our example and give to all youth and those of every age divine help. This world is God's workshop and every stone that can be used in the heavenly temple must be hewed and polished until it is a tried and precious stone fitted for its place in the Lord's building. But if we refuse to be trained and disciplined, we shall be as stones that will not be hewed and polished and that are cast aside at last as useless. It may be that much work needs to be done, that you are a rough stone which must be squared and polished before it can fill a place in God's temple. You need not be surprised if with hammer and chisel God cuts away the sharp corners of your character until you are prepared to fill the place He has for you. No human being can accomplish this work. Only by God can it be done. And be assured that He will not strike one useless blow. His every blow is struck in love for your eternal happiness. He knows your infirmities and works to restore, not to destroy. A character polished after the similitude of a palace may shine in the courts of the Lord forever.